Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin if you are new here and I create Disney videos and lifestyle kind of content here on my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber then hello and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a video that I've thought about. I feel like I've seen videos similar to this. Um, so I don't think I am the first person to ever think about this. Um, but I wanted to do kind of a Walt Disney World trip bucket list. So basically all I'm going to be doing today is just kind of talking to you guys about the things that I want to make sure that I get done on this trip to Walt Disney World. And as you are seeing this video, we leave in two weeks. So I am so excited you have, I mean, you probably have an idea. I always say that to people like, oh, you have no idea how excited I am. But you guys know, you guys know how excited I am because you get it. <laughs> um, so basically over the last few months, well, basically over the last six months, basically since we booked this trip, um, I have had on my phone a like list of things that I want to either do or things that I want to eat or <laughs> things that I want to experience um, or even just souvenirs that I would like to try and pick up while we are there um, that I've never done before or that Austin's never done before. Um, yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And then also if you want to like if you make videos or if you want to leave in the comments down below what are some of your walt disney world bucket list items then leave them down below we can chat about them um yeah let's get into the video so i've kind of sectioned these off into different um categories so i have food food and wine um i have attractions i have souvenirs so, and attractions include rides and shows and whatever. So, putting that out there right now. Okay, so I feel like I'm going to start off with attractions because that is my shortest one. Um, so, for attractions that I would like to do for the first time or things that Austin will be doing for the first time, I want to make sure we get them done. Uh, the first one is the Little Mermaid Show at Hollywood Studios. And I know that this is like controversial that it's like not a great show, but I have seen it before once. Austin has never seen it before, so I want to make sure that we get it done um, because I just feel like when you go so many times, you just start repeating yourself on things. I'm like, I want to make sure we get everything. So um, he has never seen that one before, so I want to make sure that he sees that one when we go down uh, this year. Uh, another thing that I want to do is the Walt Disney Legacy at Hollywood Studios. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It's basically like the little, um, like all, like the history of Walt Disney. Um, that is probably one of my favorite things about Disney, why I love Disney so much, is really the history behind it because I think it is just phenomenal. Like it's just, it's just mind blowing the things that walt disney was able to do and the walt disney team was able to do and how much of like an empire he created like it really is just incredible and i love the history behind all that so i want to go see the walt disney legacy i've seen it almost every time i've gone except for the last two times we went um because the first time we just i feel like the i feel like when we went on our honeymoon it wasn't open and then when we went on our last trip we just didn't have as much time so we just didn't like think to do it so i want to make sure that we get that done this trip another attraction obviously is smugglers run um that is the new um galaxy's edge ride that is there um obviously i want to just experience galaxy's edge to its maximum but for the ride like obviously we want to try and ride um smugglers run so that'll be super exciting and i feel like that's gonna be just like i'm really excited for it but i can't imagine how austin's feeling for it because he grew up on star wars so i think that's gonna be like so cool for him to be able to experience like literally flying in the millennium falcon like also i want to see the new fireworks show for the halloween party 
Um, so there is a, like I just said, a new fireworks show. It used to be Hallowishes, and I loved Hallowishes when we saw it last year. So I'm nervous because I haven't watched anything, but I have heard some reviews, and the reviews haven't been so great. So I just... I'm crossing my fingers that I'll still like it. I haven't, like I said, I haven't watched anything. I know that there are projections and I know that there's like a big Jack Skellington puppet um, up there, but I have not watched anything. So I am really excited to see that show and like I really hope that I love it. Um, and then also with the Halloween party, I really wanna see the um, Hocus Pocus stage show because I have never seen that before, which I think is, crazy i mean last time we went we prioritized doing other things so i just want to make sure that we watch the stage show because everybody says that it is amazing so obviously we can't miss that um and then also with fireworks i want to see the new epcot forever fireworks show so illuminations has sadly gone away that was like last week i think from when i'm filming this um and they have come out with a temporary show called epcot forever before the permanent show comes out i think next year or the year after i think it's next year so this one's just going to be here for like a really limited time so i am excited to see that one again i haven't watched anything i don't know what it's like i have heard that people are underwhelmed but i am excited to see it because as much as i love illuminations like walt disney said epcot is always changing so i think i respect the most change for Epcot because that is what it is. It's supposed to be constantly looking like the future. So if they keep it looking like the future from when they opened up the park, obviously, then it wouldn't be what it's supposed to be, if that makes sense. So that's my take on it. Okay, so those are the attractions I want to see and experience. Um, now moving on to food. I'm gonna run through this quickly because I'm not gonna explain everything um, for food just because I'm weird and I just literally have a list of food that I want to <laughs> eat over there. I don't know. I'm weird. Um, so number one, I want to go to Ample Hills Creamery. That is the ice cream shop on the boardwalk. AJ from Disney Foods Blog says that it's amazing and I really want to try it because last couple times we were there, every time we were at the boardwalk, it was like 8 a.m. So I'm like, mm, maybe we should get ice cream at 8 a.m. I don't even think they're open. So ice cream is a definite must from Ample Hills Creamery. Also on this roll of ice cream, um, I really want to try the PB&J milkshake from 50's Primetime Cafe in Hollywood Studios. Again, I mean, I feel like it's not as like popular anymore. Like I feel like it used to be talked about a ton and now it's like maybe not so much talked about or maybe I just don't hear it being talked about, but I still really want to try it because I love good PB&J. Um, also, I would like to go to Sleepy Hollow and try the fruit waffle. Um, if fun fact for you austin does not like waffles and he does not like pancakes so whenever we get breakfast or go for breakfast anywhere we never really go anywhere that has like waffles or pancakes as like a specialty because he doesn't like love that um and we never make it at home because i would not like make myself pancakes and then make him something else or have him make something else or whatever so we just i just basically never get to eat it so every time we've been there um we have not tried it so this time i'm trying it i'm sending him to gaston's or whatever gaston's tavern to get his cinnamon roll and i will wait in line for sleepy hollow for a fresh fruit waffle so I don't know if this was here for a limited time or not, but I saw it on a bunch of people's Instagram a little while ago and I felt the need that it had to go on this list. And it is the loaded corn dog nuggets at Casey's Corner. I have never had the corn dog nuggets before and I feel like that is just absurd because everybody loves Casey's corn dog nuggets. So I feel like this is the time for me to try them because they are now loaded. So it's basically just like cheese and bacon and sour cream and like all this all the things so it's definitely gonna be a lot but i'm excited to try it <laughs> if it's still there um i also would love to try the cheeseburger spring rolls in adventureland again a thing that when we've been there i wanted to try them it's just that every time we were around adventureland we just didn't like it wasn't the right time or like we had just eaten or we were just about to go on a ride. So I never got the chance to try them. So this time I am trying the cheeseburger spring rolls because 
I think those would be right up my alley. <laughs> um, and then also the final like food item would be the Amok Cupcake from the Main Street Bakery. This is just limited time for Halloween. Um, and it's basically just like a Hocus Pocus themed cupcake from the Starbucks um, that's in Magic Kingdom. So I, it just looks so good. It like has caramel on the inside. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. So I need to try that. Moving on to souvenirs. Now this might be a weird one, um, but I like to plan out what souvenirs I'm buying so that I kind of have an idea on how much money I'd want to bring with me, what I need to leave <laughs> room for in my suitcase to bring back home. Obviously when we get there, there are things that will pop out at me and I'll be like, oh, I need that. <laughs> um, and obviously my mind might change. I might not want something when I get there or whatever. So this is just kind of like me being obsessive about planning so i just figure i'd throw it in for the planners out there that do know or that do <laughs> do this as well so for souvenirs we really 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 want to get a droid we are getting a droid we have um, a reservation booked to build a droid in um, galaxy's edge so i'm excited about that so that is on my list and also we have a reservation to build our own lightsaber and very excited about that that is more going to be austin doing that and then i'm gonna do the droid i think also something that i really want to get is the hollywood studios you are here mug hold on when we went on our last trip i picked up this is just funny i was just drinking my coffee out of this this morning not not like on purpose this is just a fluke because these are my favorite mugs when we went to Disney World last time in April, I had picked up all the mugs from the You Are Here collection in each of the parks. And the day that I was going to get the Hollywood Studios mug was the day that we bought our um, annual passes. So we were kind of on adrenaline rush from those. We really had to like get over to Epcot to get our flower and garden car magnet. So we like rushed over there and then we were rushing to get back over to Magic Kingdom because we had planned to be in Magic Kingdom for our last day, for like the second half of our last day. And we were just kind of all over the place. And by the time we got to Epcot, I realized that I had forgotten to get the Hollywood Studios You Are Here mug. So that is my mission, is to just get the Hollywood Studios You Are Here mug because then my collection will be complete. And it has this hole in my collection that is the Hollywood Studios mug and just makes me sad because these seriously are my favorite Disney mugs ever. They're like the perfect size. They're so cute. I love having my tea or coffee or hot chocolate or whatever out of them. So the Hollywood Studios You Are Here mug is probably number one on my list for things that I need to buy. Um, there are also these new Nightmare Before Christmas ears and they are so cute. They have Jack on one side, Oogie Boogie on one side, and then when you flip them, one side's black and one side is zero. And I don't know why, but I just need them, I think. I think I need them, so I have those on my list. And this is the most recent addition to my list is there is a, I don't know if it's new or if I just haven't seen it, but there is a new Bigfoot figment plushie that is out there and I think I need him <laughs> so he's like my Eeyore Bigfoot oops sorry Minnie <laughs> he's like my Bigfoot Eeyore and he like has a cute little face and then the big feet um so I love figment I love figment's ride I love his song it gets stuck in my head it is I love it. I think it's funny that people hate it, but I love it. So I think I need a figment plushie in my life. Whew, okay, I feel like I talked a mile a minute in that video. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe, like I said before. Um, and again, if you want to leave your list of bucket list things from Walt Disney World or even Disneyland down below, let me know and we can chat about them in the comments. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. See you later. Bye.